Guys, today we're here grinding some stumps on a residential lot here. There's a lot of hardwoods. Uh, we've had some elms, we've had some oaks, we've had some poplars. A lot of these have been from 36 inch diameters to 24 inch. We're taking them eight inches below grade. I, I just wanted to take a minute and share with you actually of how easy this thing is to use because a lot of customers will call in and they may have a Case 1845 or a smaller machine. They may not know what their hydraulics are. And the best advice I can give you is to make a phone call, call in to these guys. Number one, you're gonna find out you're gonna deal with good people, a great company and quality equipment. But more importantly, performance on the grinder is gonna boil down to two things, hydraulic flow and line pressure. And for example, a Case 1845, 16 gallons a minute at 2300 on the line pressure, that's like a 17, 18 hydraulic horsepower. It's not gonna cut the mustard. However, you can, you can go from up to a S185, real common machine, S205, where the hydraulic horsepower would be 25. Line pressure is at 3,000 and 16 gallons a minute. And if you're a small acreage owner, where you got a lot of time on your hands, you wanna grind some stumps, it'll be a good fit where you don't have to go into a rental location, drive there, you got a fuel bill, and then you gotta get it back, and are the teeth sharp? Just to touch base on a couple things here, um, Obviously when you got an operator and you can see it move left and right and up and down and we got the hydraulic cylinders as we explained here. Well on top right here we got a valve block and we got sealed electric solenoids here. And basically what we do is we run a wire harness. This CAT 277B series has an 8 pin electrical plug. So what we do is we run a CAT wire harness directly to that. These are standard flow hydraulic couplers. And what that allows us to do is this CAD is equipped with buttons right on the hand controls. And, and what you'll do is you'll get inside the cab, you'll, you'll get your hydraulic flow going where the wheel's spinning. And at that point in time, you can then run your buttons as far as your left and right swing and your up and down. And you do that, I mean, it's plug and play. It's all right from inside the cab. In Case, New Holland, all, all the major skid steer manufacturers out there, most of them have that. If, if you don't have that on your machine, it's, it's not a big deal because we, we do have an option of a pistol grip where simply you'll mount a little box on the outside of your cab right next to your hydraulic couplers here. And it's no different than an electrical plug on a truck. So you mount that, you run two lead wires back to the battery on the skid steer. That's for your best ground, of course. And again, you hose clamp this pistol grip remote inside the cab, and that has your buttons for you. And that will be universal, for example, if you have other attachments, it could be a sweeper, it could be an angle broom, uh, it could be uh, a snow blower. And for that matter, it keeps you modular and it keeps your equipment universal, so it's a one-time cost, which makes it very nice that way. A lot of these stump grinders, you couldn't even get in here and grind these things. That's what makes this stump grinder huge, is it's compact, Small, the wheels offset to one side, you can get up close. I mean, you know, this, this stump literally was eight inches from this tree. Okay? That Cat 277 is 75 inches wide, outside track to outside track. Okay? So, you're, you're in pretty tight quarters. I, I mean, if, if we were going to be rubbing, getting the six here through here, about 101 inches. Okay? Some of these grinders out there are just very large. They're great grinders. They're just, they're overly big and they don't allow you to get into some of these tight spots. But roughly guys, we had 22 to 23 stumps back here. And it was done in less than two hours. 